Well, welcome back, everyone. We have naturalist Marie Walton in from Johnny Appleseed and Parks. And Marie, you're going to be talking about wonderful things in nature, which, of course, are what color? Green. Green. <laughs> <laughs> One of our favorite colors at the park. Yes. So right now, especially, lots of things are turning green at the parks. The trees have leafed out, and it's a beautiful, gorgeous green just about everywhere you look. And the reason that plants are green is because of a little pigment inside the leaves called chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. So when light comes from the sun and hits the leaf, it's shining white light onto it. And white light actually has every color of light in it. And so when it's shining down on the leaf, the chlorophyll is absorbing that light and transferring the light energy into chemical energy to help make food for the plant. But when it's absorbing those wavelengths of light, it's kicking out the green and a little bit of the yellow, and that is what your eye absorbs, and that is why plants look green to us. All right, I like that. What about the animals now? Now, there are lots of green animals as well, and there are lots of green birds, like the green heron. It kind of looks like a little football-shaped bird. Yeah. It's a brownish green that helps it blend into the low-hanging trees and branches that it lives in, but when it sees a fish, it can extend its neck super long, like, <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, there are also, your favorite bird is green, the ruby-throated hummingbird. Oh, yeah. It's That's got a beautiful. green back to help it blend in with the trees where it mm -hmm. nests. There are also mallard ducks, but they're green for a little bit of a different reason. So the mallard duck male has a dark emerald green head. And that's not to help it blend in, it's actually to help him stand out because he's going to be on the light shimmery water. So that dark emerald green helps him pop to hopefully attract a female duck. She's the more blending color on the water, the kind of mottled right. uh, purplish, brownish color. Now there are also tons of green insects. One of my favorites is the luna moth, which I have a little picture of right here. That is a beautiful green North American insect. And they're coming out right now, so that's really exciting. And not only is the moth green, but their caterpillars are green too. And lots of caterpillars are green in nature. So uh, eastern tiger swallowtail caterpillars, cabbage white caterpillars are all green. And that's because they spend most of their time hanging out on leaves and eating the leaves. So being green helps them not become the lunch or dinner of a hungry bird. And there are lots of other green insects in nature too, like katydids and grasshoppers. Even our own Ohio native bees uh, are green. So a lot of native Ohio bees are like a shiny metallic green and they live solitary lives so very different from the yellow and black honeybees that we're used to thinking of beautiful insects another great green animal is called the smooth green snake i love nature names like that because it sounds exactly like what it is uh, they're known for being non-venomous non-poisonous non-aggressive just really timid snakes so if you not in my backyard <laughs> If you've never seen one before, it's because they're known for fleeing uh, as soon as they see a human. So they're very timid and shy. But they're really beautiful animals. They're going to be eating slugs and spiders and keeping our garden safe. So you might want to have one in your garden. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're great. And then there's also the green frog, which lives mm -hmm. by ponds. And they're really cool. These are actually gray tree frogs. So that is a nature name that's a little bit confusing. So with the name like a gray tree frog, you'd think they would be gray. And they are sometimes, but they can actually change their color like a chameleon. So they can be any range of grayish oh, really? brown all the way up to a pop in green color huh. if they're on a leaf. So that's really exciting. Uh, so maybe next time you're out in your backyard, you'll look for and maybe see some of these green animals that are hidden in plain sight all around. Yeah, well, I know that I've, I've seen frogs in my backyard because oh. of the fountains and whatnot. I like these That's two. They're, so cool. I like to, I don't know their names, but I'm calling them Ferdinand and Isabella because, <laughs> you know, Ferdinand the frog, you know, but they are cute. I love that. I would take them out, but I'm afraid that they'll jump everywhere because they are climbing, aren't they? They are. They yeah. love to climb up as high as they can go. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, let's turn so you can see. Yeah, let's get a little wow. zoom in on the frogs. <laughs> well, Maureen, thank you so much for coming in today, learning yeah. all about the green things <laughs> in nature. I love it. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. All right. Well, don't go away because we have more when we return. <laughs>